Hi everyone and welcome back to Open CCB with me, Tommy P. Last episode we set up our stations at our aluminium plants and the various connections across the West Coast cargo network that will allow us to transport scrap metal, bauxite and acid to that location. I'm going to start off first by transporting scrap metal from here at Tindwood. And just needed to have a quick look at what we're using here. Just gonna have a quick check at these ones that go to the zinc smelter. So they're taking 425. Yeah, so we probably do need probably just three of these. We'll, uh, we'll get our, our group set up. Are you minium? Pants, aluminium pants. That's the uh, kind of thing that Iron Man wears, I'm pretty sure. And let's just I'll check in. That many stations now, I'm really struggling to remember what they're all called. Nothing quite as exciting as aluminium pants, but uh, New Wendingworth Falls Woods is considerably long enough to be testing my spelling ability. And, uh, of course, it's from Tinwood Heights. Marvellous. We'll uh, move that over there, and yeah, we'll use. Oh, actually, how much of the how much do these carry? The smaller ones, 181. Obviously, this does fluctuate, but that doesn't feel like it's quite enough. So we will we'll go with I think the full length here. you into there and get rid of all your orders so we need to go to Tinderwood Heights that's of course going to come along here nice easy little path And then, yeah, we will. We'll just get it in by the waypoint. And loading and unload all. Three of those, and away they go. So that will be the scrap metal. Going there, yeah, you can see here, look. A little bit of build up again. Just need to just look at some of the, the signal densities along here. It's something I've been doing quite a lot of. Just trying to squeeze every last bit of track obviously it does cost a little bit more as far as inf infrastructure maintenance goes but it does kind of help get these going so I think that's the first one 
on its way. Just gonna... And, uh, yeah, keep doing this. No. Where have you gone? Yeah, you seem to be going the right way, so that's fine. We'll we'll trust that that will be able to make its way there fine. That's just piles of trains. Wait to uh, to leave Tindwood. already dealt with the densities here okay let's um let's get this bauxite set up bauxite mine we're gonna have to go quite tight Along here, I think two will actually be okay. So let me just check what the boneyard's coverage is. No, that does. Hmm. Um. No, I won't cheat here. I was considering just doing a spread I'm using the the boneyard, but that just wouldn't be cricket. And it's a little too two station lorry ports. Coming along there, and we did have a vehicle depot, yes, we did, yeah. So, freights, I don't, yeah, we've not done bulk site before, so. Sites transfer. Nice and original. Tinwood bauxite deposits. Now, what carries bauxite? It's not a massively long distance it needs to travel. Um, 108 tons, so again, not massive production either. Use these TFBs before. Let's have a look by speed. Uh, Fifty two tons. We'll go with these TFB Vixens. And then, where do they go? 
go to, they go to. I suppose we could actually <coughs> set up a new lorry port. In here, associated to Tinwood Heights. And uh, already that's starting to get used. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't do that in the first place. I'm assuming this will now become surplus to requirements. Which will mean <coughs> we're going to need more of those. Um, yeah, so we'll just uh, I'll just take that out. And that then just becomes our fake little road in. <coughs> right, so that tinkering out the way. So it goes to there. Then go to Timwood Heights. And no loading and transfer. And um, I will just have just four of those to start us off with. Oh, tinned woos. Tinned woos, bauxite deposit. Producing fine now. I don't actually think we have engineering supplies coming here, don't we? Whether it's worth. We'll look at that another time. See if we can just boost the production of this slightly. <clears throat> yeah. So, um, in fairness, I probably don't want to be. Putting too many trains in here, given how many hold-ups we're having. Indeed, I might need to actually take all of this out and actually put a, a platform in at some point, just to give us a little bit more platform capacity. Um, yeah. And um, of course, we've not transported pork site before. That will be a new one. There, as always, the old trusty powertrain or power hall, rather. And we'll probably make these relatively short. Oh, 
that was handy. Yes, that's exactly where I need you to go. And there, uh, I'll probably just get a couple of those rolling. Oh, hang on. I haven't set that group up correctly. I don't know what I'll type more. Timwood Heights or Wayward Heights. There's one for you statisticians out there. <clears throat> well, let's have a look down at the alley plants. So, yeah, looks like we've got a regular supply of scrap metal now. That's that pork site unconnected. Hmm. This. Yeah. This is. This is worrying me a little. Yeah. Strawberry jams everywhere you look. Yeah. Just don't know whether I need to double track this. causing a problem there by yeah just so much traffic trying to come out of Tinwood whether to perhaps just do yeah it's all these sink trains isn't it that's the problem I don't know whether just to just do a tunnel under see this part of the line is quite free this is now becoming a bit of a problem So, yeah, I think if we did a bit of a tunnel under here, and then um, a tunnel under there. And uh, once this little fella goes, we'll get rid of... Oh, actually, no, I'll probably keep it, I think. And, uh <clears throat> Just in case there are uh, any trains, I, I can't quite remember. 
that would need to come onto <coughs> this part of the track. I don't think there is. Hopefully that will improve flow slightly across that area. <clears throat> yeah, that does seem to have helped a fair amount. And uh, now I'm just going to add some more more trains into that part of the network. <coughs> I think I always said Timwood Heights would eventually be an area I'm going to really need to look at. But um, it's obviously such a complicated junction now. Uh, planning that out. Um, number one, I don't have the time, but perhaps more pressingly, I just don't have the skill. <laughs> I think it's something we'll, <laughs> we'll suffer, I think. But it's probably going to be something I will have to deal with at some point. Until then, I will keep burying my head in the sand. And, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get some acid instead. But, uh, acid is always the solution. It certainly was back in the 90s anyway. Okay. And, uh, yeah, I think the easiest way of doing this is we'll come this way down that way yeah, this is all okay along here and therefore if we just take a little bit of land out here take a line out Tunnel. Tunnel. Um, hmm. She's saying that. Oh, it's fine. We'll just. We'll just demolish. I I haven't got time to be. Reconfiguring my plans, just so it's not to inconvenience others.
And of course, a depot. Can go there. <clears throat> My word. That is a lot of acid. This time we will be west coast uh, chemicals acid to aluminium. Uh, I'm I'm convinced I've spelt that wrong and differently every time. Alu. Minium pants uh, new with falls woods. Imagine acid will be in the same as our oil tankers, yep, yeah. <clears throat> the bogey tankers. It's not delivered by some 17 year old on a rally BMX with a no stud. And what are they so there? 80 miles an hour. What do we carry oil with? On these bogey tankers. That's the BRL. Okay. And if I can find that, there it is. Yep, 80 miles an hour. Obviously, the volume of acid being produced will uh, will max that out. Move that into there. And. These will go to here. They're going to come. Let's check they can get out. Yes, they will come this way around, down, all the way through here. They will go under. They will go round. Ah. Okay. So, yet another. <laughs> yes, another intersection is needed. To get these little fellas out. It's going to be a little bit of a slow corner. But uh, it will be okay, I think. <clears throat> but 
but yeah, coming back out, they should be fine. Going back that way. Now let's get back to the orders. <coughs> All the way back up, round this way over, back round and up that way. Under and round. Is that right? Hmm. Let me just check. <coughs> Actually, I think they will then need the option to go onto that track. As they come out. Switch into there. And then... Back up and round, yeah. And then um, we'll probably need four of those, <coughs> and that will be all. And that's all we can spare. So, with any luck, I doubt this will be getting supplied with. I oh know bauxite is supplied consistently from the looks of it. <coughs> Which is interesting. I'll do keep an eye on that, but yeah, that's acid scrap. And hopefully soon acid on the way. So really the only last couple of bits then will be to connect in these two Bauxite mines here and then this transfer station. That will be our mission and goal for next time, which will be quite a momentous occasion with it being episode 50. So yes, we, we look forward to an exciting 50th Bauxite mine spectacular. I uh, hope you can join me then. This is Tommy P. Signing off.